well, it's this, how has this been like, it's a wild, this spontaneous guy where I just didn't really care for consequences, didn't really matter. I just did things, you know what I'm saying? Just, I didn't think about tomorrow. I always lived in the moment. And I guess, honestly, I think all that comes from because um, when I was younger, uh, like a baby, like three days old, I had open heart surgery. And as you know, in high school, I had a heart attack. You know what I'm saying? So I just felt like as I got older as a teenager, I was like, damn, I got heart problems. So it's like, what's the point of anything? At any moment, that's like after high school, I could just, I can go. You know what I'm saying? At any moment. So it was like, what's the point of saving money? What's the point of building good relationships? What's the point of having a girlfriend when tomorrow I could just die? What made you change? It's kind of selfish for me to be self-destructive when I see the amount of love and support that's around me. And I think about like, if I was to say F it, let's just go hop in one of the fast cars and just do the dash. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't care. What would my little brother, sister, mother, grandmother, people that, that you know, mess with me, all the people that came to my art show, like, dang, what happened to Mike? He destroyed himself. That's so sad, he, he, he could have done so much. And that's the conversation I don't want people to have. Like, he could have did it out of everybody. He could have been the one to do it. He could have been the one to blow his family up. He could have made crazy art and got his father out of jail, but he decided to destroy himself. So I had to sit back and think like, just take your time, Mo. You got it. It'll all work out.